this video we want to start off with ciprofloxacin so first of all let us see where we are we are looking at antimicrobial agents correct in that quinolones now in quinolones we have seen the classification ciprofloxacin is in the first generation fluoroquinolones they inhibit dna gyrase so dn uh, the dna will not be able to relax it will always be in this super coiled fashion so it will not be able to relax the relaxed form is necessary for replication and transcription so there can be no replication and transcription hence it will become bactericidal fluoroquinolone will become bactericidal okay you can also mention topoisomerase 4 okay in uh, gram positive it will inhibit topoisomerase 4 okay so now here we are ciprofloxacin the structure so it is a prototype drug for uh, fluoroquinolones it is first generation mechanism of action is dna gyrase inhibition synthetic it is active against gram negative bacteria it is used in typhoid treatment typhoid salmonella typhi is what positive or negative salmonella typhi is gram negative okay salmonella typhi gram negative that is why ciprofloxacin first generation is active against gram negative bacteria correct moving on let us see what organisms are are susceptible to ciprofloxacin let us look at only the main ones there are highly susceptible moderately susceptible low susceptible we will not go into so much detail let us look at high susceptible salmonella typhi just now we saw then neisseria neisseria gonorrhoeae neisseria meningitis fine this much if you can remember so much enough for now later you can learn lot of things what are the other gram negative you know tell e coli vibrio cholera maybe that also you can learn so highlighted here e coli vibrio cholera cholerae okay look at these diagrams this is neisseria meningitis this one is neisseria gonorrhoeae vibrio cholerae e coli <coughs> all are gram negative then you have this one this is salmonella typhi okay gram negative so hope this much is clear then we will look at uh, some points about ciprofloxacin then we will look at pharmacokinetics of ciprofloxacin adverse effects of ciprofloxacin interactions of ciprofloxacin uses drugs for typhoid because salmonella typhi we saw that ciprofloxacin is effective against salmonella typhi okay after that we want to look at ofloxacin so in this video we started off with uh, ciprofloxacin it is a prototype of fluoroquinolones it is first generation mechanism of action is it inhibits dna gyrase and topo isomerase 4 i am not sure if you can write this this is mainly in gram positive organisms it is synthetic antimicrobial agent it is antibacterial mainly against gram negative organisms it is used in treatment of typhoid this is the structure highly susceptible organisms to ciprofloxacin are salmonella typhi neisseria gonorrhoeae neisseria meningitis e coli vibrio cholerae that much is enough for now meet in the next video please bye bye